What bowling alley owner let them do this? <laughs> Hello and welcome to yet another episode of Curse Commercials. I might be breaking the fourth wall a little bit in today's introduction. I get asked a lot by different people, do the people who make these commercials ever know they get featured on the show? And if they ever find out, what do they think about it? Well, it's actually happened a couple times. Right. People watch this. <laughs> Raps. Raps. Lots of people watch this show. Probably. I know of at least one person who for sure watches it because they bought merchandise and they were in an episode. Behold, the legendary man from the Pizza and Go rap commercial from Curse Commercials episode three. Go check out his Instagram. I also received this email from Sam Catania, or you might know more famously as the guy who busts through the wall randomly on this show all the time. Interestingly enough, Sam has let me know that he's not just made one commercial. Sam has made many commercials. All to which I hope are as amazing as the one we've already watched from episode seven. Uh, so that's why I declare today the Curse Commercials Sam Catania Painting Special. We're gonna be watching nothing but Sam Catania's commercials. And so if you live in Erie, Pennsylvania and you need some painting done, you'll definitely know who to call by the end of this video. Could he paint my toenails? Raps, you don't even have... You don't even have toenails. No, but if I did, could he paint them? Why are you even asking this? Curse Commercials is brought to you by G Fuel, a natural energy drink formula that is a healthy alternative to sugar-loaded energy drinks that is both delicious and has no crash. Get it in powder, get it in a can, use code CURSED at checkout to save 30% off your order while the promotion lasts. So things for Chad weren't going well He thought he'd read a good luck spell But he misread and then he fell under a curse Transported to a creepy castle Forced to watch Christian meshes till the end of time Now they may be cursed but they're not the worst They're often kind of funny I dropped the remote under the chair. Got it. Things are gonna be a little different this episode. Instead of ranking things out of 10, based on how cursed I think each commercial is, we're instead of gonna be ranking things out of 10 based on how much I just like each different commercial. So a little different context for just this episode. And without further ado, I present to the, the Sam Catania painting cursed commercial special. Oh, so you're finally gonna paint the wall? No, you're gonna paint the wall. I'm not painting it. You were gonna paint it. I'm not painting it. You're gonna paint this wall. <laughs> Why fight, guys, when you can call Sam Catania painting? Are both of these guys employees of Sam Catania Painting? Because if so, why are they both arguing about who's going to take the job? Shouldn't shouldn't each of them be eager to get started on the work? And of course, it wouldn't be a Sam Catania special if Sam didn't just fall through some type of wall or ceiling or something. <laughs> okay, I've paused this a couple times. That actually looks like a false ceiling. This man actually fell through a false ceiling for this commercial. This man provides true dedication to the art of making a television commercial. That's above average for me. I liked it a decent amount. That's like a six. Dad, I see Sam can't stand you. Oh, I hate that guy's commercials. <laughs> Only this guy would write in the commercial that there should be someone 
who talks about how much he hates his commercials. The guy's got some good self-awareness. I'll give him that. He knows they're bad, but he embraces it. And also, he got the achievement of him getting on this show and getting his own episode. It's a badge of honor. Oh, I hate that guy's commercials. Look, it's Sam Katuna. <laughs> Look, it's Sam Katuna. That should be another episode where he dresses up in like a fish outfit and uh, fights a live shark in the water. There you go. There's your next, there's your next commercial idea. Also, if you die, I am not liable. No, it's Sam Catania, and they have been doing quality work in this town for a very long time. I'm trying not to be seen. I got a full mask on. Really? Mom, Mom Sam Catania's here. It's easy to recognize a great reputation. Call Sam Catania painting. <laughs> What's with the scary costume? Look at that camera zoom in. Is he like, looks like he's, he's really getting ready to like, harm someone. The man can't even be a murderer if he wants without being recognized. He just has such a good reputation for doing a great job painting. Also, I don't know why, but why are we knocking on the door of someone's house inside the garage? Maybe he really did plan on killing someone. I don't know. That's like a four. The sure beats painting all them houses. Yeah, I just painted a two story house with two guys, a bucket of paint, one brush, all in about an hour. Well, I painted an entire business by myself with six cans of spray paint in one afternoon. <laughs> okay, so I think it goes without saying that uh, that is Sam Catania. And he is murdering, like actually murdering this time, his own employees. Don't listen to anyone's tall tales. Call Sam Catania Painting today. <laughs> okay, this could be this could be misinterpreted. Don't listen to anyone's tall tales. Does he mean how good of a job his employees do? Because those were the stories they were sharing with each other at the beginning of the commercial. So should we not believe that they can do such a good job so quickly? Should we not believe those stories being told? Or should we not believe the story that Sam Catania murdered his own employees. Well, they're not actually murdered. They're just kind of chilling back there. That's a seven. What was that noise? What did you guys do? I'm gonna have to call somebody to come paint this now. Oh, oh my God. That transition effect. I thought that was an actual car pulling in front of the children. What did you guys do? I'm gonna have to call somebody to come paint this now. Also, she's so upset because she has to call someone to come paint this now. Well, if we just let them keep at it, that's what they're doing right now. They are painting it with guns. Sam Catania armed children with weapons for his silly commercial. Where's the outrage? Meanwhile, an unsavory quote later, our villain thinks himself victorious. What's with like the crashing toolbox sounds? Was that guy like a robot? Did his parts fly everywhere? Also, I paused this on a frame that's kind of making me uncomfortable. Be careful who you call. So call the professionals at Sam Catania Painting. Don't call any of Sam Catania's competitors because he will come out to your house and Tarzan swing into them and kill them. That's like a four. Israel. Yes, I am. <laughs> oh my God. This local painter's business is real. Oh! Thank you, Erie, for another amazing year. Happy holidays. Not only can Sam Catania fall through a false ceiling, he'll fall down a chimney for a photo opportunity with Santa. Also, without a scratch on him. Like, seriously, shouldn't he be like, have black marks all over him from going down the chimney or... That was all right. That was like a four. Cute toss. Let me show you how a pro does it. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
What bowling alley owner let them do this? <laughs> Don't strike out by calling the competition. Call Erie's Choice, Sam Catania Painting, today. I gotta go back and watch some of these parts because this is like, they, they really did this. Put like a football helmet on and then I just, I guess, slicked up the lane and they jump and slid into the bowling pins. They had to have like physically hurt. What's the plot for this one? Uh, man trash talks other bowler and so to get even with the bowler and preventing them from bowling, they head first slide into their lane's bowling pins? <laughs> okay. If I'm being honest with you guys though, I don't really care about the plot. Any reason we can come up with to just get this guy to slam into some bowling pins head first, I'm all for it. I'm giving that a nine. That was good. So what are we baking other than our bun in the oven? Oh my god, call 911! Don't get burned by the competition. Call Sam Catania Painting today. And from all of us to all of you, have a happy holidays. So here we have this cooking show called Cooking with Ruffles with someone who has the voice of Miss Piggy from the Muppets. Everyone's dressed kind of ridiculously. I don't know why they're wearing like Christmas tree garland or these funny glasses and hat. It's a lot to unpack in this commercial. I'm not sure what this has to do with painting. Kind of seems like a better commercial fit for like your local fire department or something. That's like a six. What we have here is like another bowling alley commercial, but he's like bowling against someone different now. <laughs> this commercial is not any different. Like, it's barely different. But how it's playing out is exactly the same as the last commercial. Cute toss. Let me show you how a pro does it. Exactly the same. Why'd they change the person? That's weird. It's like the same exact commercial from before, but barely any different. I guess that's still like a nine because it's just like the last one, but that's weird. Yes, we're talking about Sam Catania painting. If you're thinking about residential or commercial painting, then follow the signs. Calling husband. Hey, did you get our taxes done? That way I can sign them when we get home. I already got them done. Hopefully we can get our refund sooner and get that project started. All right, I got them done already. When all signs point to Sam Catania painting, call for a free estimate. I can see the headline already. Local businessman hides on residence roof in an attempt to steal the tax return. That's like a three. I told you you should call Sam Catania Painting. If winter took a toll on your home or it just needs a little facelift, call Sam Catania Painting. Professional painters will power wash, stain, or paint your home. Call Sam Catania Painting today for a free estimate. Uh, 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 Sam, Samuel, you're, you're standing in the way of your own phone number being shown in your own commercial. I, I, I can't see the phone number. I wonder if he realized that when he was filming that. That's like a two. Sir Beats painting all them houses. Yeah, I just Who would even trust this guy to paint a business? Who would have thought he was even professional enough to paint a room? Hey, now, wait a minute. They're watching a commercial in a commercial on an episode of Curse Commercials. I don't know if that's interesting enough to point out, but... Wait! <laughs> 
<laughs> is that like a custom made Halloween theme that's whispering Sam Catania? Don't be scared. Do your research. Get the job done right. Call Sam Catania Painting. Also, if he really wanted to chase after those people quicker, all he would have had to do is walk around the wall. He could he could have just walked around it. That was good. That's like a that's like an eight. Oh, I hate this commercials. Oh, I hate this commercials. <laughs> what? Oh, I hate this commercials. I hate this commercials. Oh, I hate this commercials. They couldn't have done another take of that. <laughs> I need to get that on a t-shirt and sell that as Curse Commercials merchandise. I hate this commercials. <laughs> If you want to be victorious, call Sam Catania Painting! I think this was supposed to have like a Rocky vibe. Because this commercial on his channel is called like Rocky something. I don't remember exactly, but something like that. Also, that one was like uploaded like two days ago or something. He's still bumping these beauties out. That's like a five. Oh, hello. I didn't notice you there. I'm Sam Catania from Sam Catania Painting. Giving the best service to the community has always been important, but being a part of the community also means a lot to us too. Donating our time and services to Celebrate Erie and giving out meals at St. Martin Center. In this time of thanks, I want to thank everyone for making us Erie's Choice 2018 in painters. Have a very happy and safe Thanksgiving holiday weekend from all of us to all of you. And here I thought we were going to have a somewhat normal commercial for a change. But that gets all thrown out the window in the last like two seconds. So we got this turkey that's by the fireplace that's clearly not been cooked. That's then taken and eaten by Sam Catania. Twinkle in his eye appears. And then he just kind of like teleports Harry Potter style through the fireplace. <laughs> that's that's like a four. I can give you the best quote around. Just open the door now! Daddy, Daddy, Daddy Mommy, be moly! <laughs> no matter the occasion, reason doesn't matter. He's gonna run through walls. I really appreciate the different camera angles. <laughs> Dude, how long does this go on for? I want to say the largest part that absorbs Sam Catania's budget for making his commercials is the amount of sheetrock this man has to buy. <laughs> Don't get bullied by the competition. Call Sam Catania Painting. This is it. This is the one. This is this is the all-time best Sam Catania painting commercial. This one right here. That's a 10, folks. That's a 10. As always, don't forget, folks, every time I upload an episode of Cursed Commercials, you can get a special discount on G Fuel by using code CURSED at checkout and clicking the link in the description. That's 30% off G Fuel, 20% off G Fuel cans. So that's a deal you can only take advantage of right as the video comes out, only for like a day or two. So if you're watching this video just as it came out, it's definitely a deal you want to take advantage of. So don't forget about that. And on that note, let me know who you think is deserving enough to have their own special episode of Cursed Commercials. Let me know down in the comments. What if we had a rap special? Like you just host an entire episode of Cursed Commercials yourself? Yeah. So you would watch all the commercials instead of me. Yeah. That sounds great. What's your calendar look like?